Hey guys, um, so the topic for this week is exercise and recovery. Um, and that's just anything regarding exercise and recovery. Um, I guess I kind of want to focus on when to start, but I'm going to go into other things. Um, I think the best time to start exercise is when you can get your mind set to not use the exercise to lose weight um, or burn calories um, when you can actually conquer that um, I think that's when you can start exercise again or um, if you have someone that is able to control the amounts that you exercise and the types and someone that's there to watch you to make sure you don't fall overboard. So that's just for health reasons um, to keep your body functioning. Um, so, yeah. But otherwise, I would make sure to consult your doctor or treatment team um, as to if you're ready to start exercising, if you have the right mindset and aren't going to abuse the uh, them telling you that you can't exercise. As long as you're not going to abuse that, I think that you can't. Um, when you start, um, I would definitely start with light activity like walking or um, swimming. Some people like to swim. Just something that's relaxing. Nothing strenuous like running or um, hard on exercise. Um, I know in treatments they usually work on like yoga. Um, I think that's a good one to start with when you're at the very beginning is yoga or Pilates, something like that. That is more of it's toning and just kind of relaxing your mind. Um, it's a good outlet to kind of relax your mind when your eating disorder is trying to take over. Um, and then after treatment, they usually recommend doing weightlifting and walking or some form of cardio. Um, and not like strenuous uh, weightlifting, but uh, just small things to um, build your muscles. Because a lot of times with your eating disorder, you've kind of broken down all your muscles, your body's eating them for food. So the body, uh, the weightlifting helps build those muscles back. Um, one of the important ones being your heart. Um, and then of course all your other important organs that are built up of muscles and all that. Um, and amounts of time. It depends on how far along you are in recovery, but the general rule of thumb is you work out two to three days a week for 30 minutes to an hour. No more. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And yeah, another thing to remember is not to try to calculate calories. If you're trying to calculate calories of how much you've burned, how much you've eaten, then you are not ready for exercise. And I know for some people is that some people, sorry. Um that'd be a difficult thing to realize if you're in the midst of your eating disorder is you're like, no, I need to burn this many calories because I ate some this amount a year and so no, that just tells you that eating disorder has control of you, not you. Um, so if you are not able to just kind of forget the numbers um, and just do it for enjoyment and relaxation and your health, then I think that you should just completely cut it out until you are ready. Um, when you are mentally um, healthier. Um, if you can um, forget the calorie burn rate and all that, 
the bell and go for it. But again, I said, um, make sure it's in a healthy way, which is usually two to three times a week or 30 minutes to an hour. Again, to know how much is right for you, speak to your treatment team or doctor, whoever you are working with, um, to know if it's safe for you to do it. Um, right for not the time. Um, and generally the stuff you want to start with again is walking, um, maybe swimming, and yoga bodies, and then work your way into weightlifting. And then when you're far into your recovery you can do other sorts of exercises that you enjoy for the enjoyment and not even just for other reasons later on. So, I hope that helps. Um, the question is, what's your favorite thing to do um, or to stay cool when it's hot outside? I think my favorite thing to do is to be able to just relax in the house with, under a fan with a nice cold smoothie. I love smoothies then. So, yeah. Um, I think that's what I would do, um, for fun, I guess, you can do a little water park, but it's still a little bit difficult for me to handle, but I used to, when I can get past, um, <laughs> seeing the other people and you know, worrying that they're looking at me, you know, whatever, no, water parks are fun. Um, so yeah, that's what I like to do. Um, and it is hot out, so everyone stay cool. And I will talk to you all next week.